How was it? Yeah. It was awesome! It was amazing! Okay, um, this, all the people you see here, they used to be out in the street. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. 2016, the government of Tanzania given them this portion of land. And then three years ago, the same government come and build the building because they were just out in the open ground. And then some of them, they tried to put some plastic shades and then it was not that good. Yeah, during, during the rain, the rains would really ruin a lot of things. So the government built the, the building that they can, they can be in. Uh, now it has become like a food bucket for lots of families that used to be like hanging out and have nothing to do. If it's not the wife, the husband will come and run the shop. If the husband has got what to do, the wife will come and run the shop and they make money out of it. Not only, not only but money from the visitors or foreigners. If you come during the late evening around 4, 4.30 to 5, they will close here 6, you will find a lot of doctors, the people from here buying. Because the prices are not the same as far from here. Like the ones you bought yesterday at the gate, if you compare the price, they are so pricey there than it is here. Because big shops will come and buy families for, for events. As Africans, we'd like to have a lot of ornaments during the events, marriage or send off and things like that. People will come and buy from here. You have seen they have these Maasai clubs. Oh, like this one. This is to fix you if you have <laughs> if you have if if there is no air penetrating in your head. We just yeah, I need one of those. And then <laughs> when the, when the <laughs> <laughs> uh, also declaration. Yeah, but that's going to be a stubborn adult. <laughs> so this one is made out of uh, ebony wood and brother Bomani, this, even if you live out where there is termites, nothing will eat it. This is the inner part of the ebony wood. It cannot be harmed by anything, not water, not rain, not, it's the hardest part of the, outside normally the outer part is white. That's why I was checking to see if there's any white point. And, uh, it's used by the Maasai. This is only used by the elders as a talking stick. Sometimes they put bits on it and when they use for talking, they don't use the, the club, the, the big part. This is, this is going to be the holding end. They will hold a point like uh, the former president of Kenya. That's not, that's not totally, that's a question. So, yes? Um, I've seen those, it's, it looks wooden, but when you pull it out, it's a knife. And I wanted to buy one, but I was thinking we couldn't get you it cannot, to the airport. You cannot get it out of here. Okay. You, can, you, can, you can pass our airports. You can take it from here to back home, but you cannot, internationally, you cannot get it into your country. Oh, okay. And just put it in a check bag and then wrap it up real tight. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so, from the outside, it doesn't It's look actually, like that's, a, uh, it's, it's something that we, it's not our typical, it's not our origin, it's from, uh, it's from uh, Somalia. Okay. It's, yeah. It's not, okay. Awesome. So you can get it in a different size. The big one, the small one. That uh, you cheat somebody is somebody will hold it at the other end. You pull out the knife. So you need to have. You lost something. No. Uh, your phone. So. I got one this question. Is, this, yes. Do they have to pay rent here, or is it free for them? No, they're paying rent. They're paying rent. They're paying rent. To the government. That's how the government will get to get uh, money the from them. But it's very, very inexpensive. They're, they're paying like 50 cents a day. That's almost nothing. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's the only way they can attract more people to be centralized. And it's easy to manage. Yeah. So we are heading to Arusha Declaration. Uh, Museum. We'll have a guide there. Um, that's a it's, a it's a government thing. We cannot just get in. We, they would give us a guide. Uh, we have already paid our visit, so the, the payment has already been done. So when we get there, we just get the guide and start our tour. Uh, I know that there's a there's a fun of younger sports club here. 
I will take him to the to the place where you can buy the t-shirt. At the same time, we can go and make the SIM card, uh, do the, the visit, and then go to the German bomber. As I said before, then we leave. So currently, we're heading to you see that uh, Uhuru Church. Uhuru means independence. I you see it freedom. Yes. They said it meant freedom. Freedom, independence. Oh, okay. Same. Okay. Yeah. So, the, the Uhuru touch was used by Julius Nyerere to go all over the country, and it's every every year once that uh, Uhuru touch will go all over the country, just to remind the people of Arusha Declaration, and for us to remember our our our, our duties, our our responsibility toward the government. So there's farming, there's school, that's education, health. So this tower here, the Uhuru Touch, was being made during the Arusha Declaration. Pole pole kidogo. This is Nigeria. Oh. Yeah. So, Missy Jogi on Nigeria. Missy Jogi on Nigeria. Ah, Nlango to Nopita Kuna. So this this part is always very busy, it's where most of the big shops are. Uh, like big businesses are around here. So people can come out for shopping. Uh, they buy in um, bulk and then they sell it retail. They will get it from here. This is Arusha Stadium. Um, Sheikh Amre Abed Karume, the former, the first president of uh, Zanzibar, is named the, the stadium. Here is named in his name. Sheikh Amre Abed Karume. This is the stadium. Oh yeah, he, he was the one that fought against the Arabs. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. He was shooting. Karume. 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 Yeah. Abed Karume. He is the first president of Zanzibar after after Arabs. And uh, in Zanzibar is where you will learn the world shortest war. Shortest war. Yeah. The fight. Only five, 45 minutes. <laughs> and it's been recorded. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they wreck shop, so they give you some. That sounds like a boxing match. Them cats got together and start crushing the skulls. Sorry? So, how did that war go? And how did it, you know, why, why did it end so quick? I know, like, I'm getting there. 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 I'm yeah, I'm going to go out. 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 So we're entering the Arusha Declaration Museum. Once everyone is in, you can go to that where the flag is and take the video of the flag with them. You can see, you can see the, the national flag of Tanzania. And one of the color is green. The color that we are wearing, it's our t-shirts. The green is, represent, is representing all the natural reserve. National parks, rainforests, mountains, that comes from green. And then, after green, you have black. Black is for the people. Then it comes gold. Gold is the color of, it's representing all the minerals that we have. Uranium, Tanzanite, all the minerals we have. And then we have blue, it's representing all the water bodies in the country. Oh, excellent, yeah. excellent. Okay, please come out and... Uh, we'll bring your school supplies now. No, no, not yet. School supplies will uh, sub give to the school when we visit the village. Uh -oh. Here we go to the Arusha Declaration Museum. Can we record in here? Yes. Okay. Uh, outside, inside, I need to ask the lady. Okay. And then after here we go to the 
German yeah, Museum. It will be around 11, 12 ish, and then we go to the village, school, the waterfall, lunch, and then see what next we can do. Okay. okay. We let it cut it half, and then later we add more. You can leave your things in the car, lock, mm -hmm. car will be locked. Okay. Help us to close the windows. Let's see if I keep a shield on. Okay, the, our brother, the driver, is staying in, so you can just.